I've written for as long as I've performed and been in theater, but um, I think writing in that sense was something I um, did much more of because you can do it alone in a sense. I went to journalism school. I worked as a journalist for a few years. Um, I was theater editor at Time Out. I wrote a lot of fiction and poetry. I at the time was thinking of publishing a book of poetry. I think I was 23 and quite ready to, I don't know for what reason, ready to publish a book of poetry. There was also the TFA award uh, and a bunch of other writing awards, um, you know, for young people that I received. And um, I don't know what what happened along the way but it just felt like this writing went inside into the theater i've never stopped writing as such i continue to write about theater about sometimes not even about theater i get i'm commissioned to write about other things sometimes but largely now i see myself as a playwright and a and a poet and a and a and of course i'm a theater maker and performer but those again i feel like all of these things are connected they don't have uh, they're not super compartmentalized and as you rightly pointed out they all have something to do with each other right uh, and I think that is also very interesting for me sometimes to observe that um, the ways in which we have divided disciplines I keep wondering I, I haven't like studied how artistic disciplines came to be divided in the ways they are but I also think it's also hugely logistical and capitalistic fun function right you're a writer so therefore you also contribute to a publishing industry perhaps and there's a certain monetary uh, pr like I don't know logistical practical way in which that evolves if you're a, if you're an actor then you have a certain set of requirements of course it's I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying that this isn't the case, but I do think there is a way in which a lot of things, we don't realize the, the, the circularity of things. They, things, artistic work especially, um, what you do and what you think about and what you occupy yourself with finds itself into every piece of work that you do uh, and for me writing is just that at the time that I was writing the Piare poems we were in uh, the first lockdown at the time and it was all very new and I was writing from a place of isolation sitting right in this very spot looking out um, from my ground floor grilled balcony wondering what would happen right and observing the things that one observed um seeing things on the internet and that became a show i mean i think that's a great example of how something becomes something else uh Pyare, somebody saw anmol uh, anmol velani saw the Pyare poems on on facebook because i would put it out there on social media and he thought it was interesting so he commissioned PRA 2020 G for a festival now it's an independent show and I sent you the link to the show um, and so there's no real you know there's no real difference but yes I mean you could read the poems on the page you could experience some of it in a show I've written all of the work, most of the work that I perform, actually, yeah, all of the work that I perform. And my playwriting journey is pretty serious. I, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to be produced internationally very soon. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is all one. I think I see myself as a receptacle of many things and I continue to try to learn um, like I'm trying to learn a bit of music, like learning how to play the guitar. I train a lot physically. So there's no, I, now even I'm starting to see, yeah, I mean, th this is all just <laughs> a way of being engaged with your, your art and having it evolve. I, maybe you want to publish someday. Maybe I want to publish a book someday. So 
there's no saying but it's okay i think it's okay to be many of these things